hey welcome once again now remember that uh in kenya there is uh you are required to pay tax as a business so remember that the b2c and the mpesa payment are mostly used for businesses so the b2 uh, the Daraj api the for production purposely mostly it's used for businesses so in order for you to be a business you need to pay tax so paying tax uh safaricom introduced uh uh, an api for collecting tax so this api enables businesses which is, uh, the api is named as tax remi, remi, uh, remittance so this api enables businesses to remit tax to kenya revenue authority remember that kenya revenue revenue authority also known as kra is is an is an organization that collects that is in charge of of collecting uh, taxes in Kenya so Safaricom has provided the API so let's go and take a look of, of take a look at it so you can just click let's go so when you click let's go you can see this is the API and this API is new because it has come it has come this year it was not there uh, a long time uh, for the longest time it was not there so you can see from here these are the request body so the initiator you can see the credentials of the initiator let me take it from there so that you can see if there's something new that they need so for this they don't require a password so if you don't require a password how will you get the security credential ah, let's just leave it at that so the next thing is just tax uh, the command id should be tax pay tax to carry so for this because i'm not seeing here the uh, the security credential so you can see i can see i think there's an error in this documentation because here in order to generate a security credential you can see used base 64 to encode the uh, qssl encrypt so you should encrypt the initiator password and the certificate so i think here they should add a um, uh they should add um they should add a password so that even a password should be one of the requirements so here you can see security credential so that you need the same security credential then this command uh, command identifier should be paid to tax then uh, here sender sender identifier let's take a look at it from the documentation sender identifier the type of short code so it depends on the type of short code so let me see so send identifier there then receive identifier receive identifier you can just set it as four so let's go amount you just leave it as amount as that then pay party a party a let me see party a what is party a this is the owner of the short code from which the money will be deducted so this is the owner of the short code so this is your short code let me come to here so party a this is the party a party a this is the shortcut so this will be your shortcut now let's come for me i've already consumed the api and i want to replace it here the party a here party a why i think i've consumed it this let me see so amount then party a then party b let me see a then part b part b so part a part b let me set this as this so that we can see this documentation from here let me check it let me check it so here they have state the requirement to run this you need let me set it there and this i will set it here and move this i will set this here i will set this here then this here so you can see from this uh, the initiator this is the initiator they require the security credential then the uh, consumer id i think here it should be this way then um identifier so identifier which is there identifier identifier let me remove this 
and we'll remove this and replace it with and replace it with this and replace it with, yeah with that so when you remove it let me set everything which is uh, to be in to be here so it requires this then I'll, I'll do this i'll take that then write this 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 and i'll paste that then i'll remove this one first the queue timeout request it's the same as the one that is there in the reversal so i'll take i'll just take that one then come and replace it here come and replace it here so it means that we have everything that is required in the daraja in order to do the tax remissions so here two five here the amount the baby transaction the country friends here now let's come back to this documentation and see what next uh, here you can see here let me use these transactions that i used here for simulating there so the party b i'll place it there then party b party b so party b party b what's party b first party b uh party b the account number to which the money will be credited to so for this case you will use this yeah for this case this is allowed so you will place that one which has already been placed then but uh, remember this party B, this is your organization short code. This is your organization short code. I think this party B is the one. Let me first look at account account references. Account references. This is the payment registration number or the uh, the uh, the PRN or issued by the issued by KRA. So in your in your certificate uh, your carry certificate you always get an prn number so this is what i will do then this i think this party b this party b is the carry pay bill for carry pay bill i think is this one so let's name let's rename this i will come here and do this first let me come and take uh here the security credential let me take this security credential then the security credential i'll place it there then let me do this in order to make these things not to be confusing i will start with uh here the i will start with with this uh but but party a so party a is the organization's short code so the organization short code i am going to use um i'm going here let me go to mpsdk or this i'm going to use i'm going to use this variable here so this variable which will is here the part a which is here i'm going to uh, copy this then i'm going to place it there so it means that part uh the part uh part a part a is the, your organization shortcode then part b this i will just create another variable which i'll name it as k r a um k r a pay bill k r a underscore pay bill or let me name it as k r a short uh short code which is that then uh this party uh the account references this is your kra pin i think for a uh, sorry the kra pin kra pin the kra pin which for this case it can you can add this you can see from this this is the same as the kra pin that is there but for us they have used it i uh, used that so let us use this let us use this so we lose that this is your carry pin let me remove this is your kra pin so the carry pin i will place it as there then i will do this and this is the carry short code that the uh, where the money will be sent to 
this is where the money will be sent to now let's see remarks then time out this is where we will get there here then let me just uh let me do this come and see everything so when you when you get this it means that we have consumed it uh, successful then this should be the successful uh, requests which i will save it for you then i will add every every request i will add them here so let's test it let's test this api and see if we have consumed it successfully so i'll come here then place it there then reload and reload so you are real so i think i've ordered this so i'll place it there so when i place it when i reload when i reload you can see invalid receive identifier let's come here and see receiver identifier where is the receiver identifier receiver receiver identifier should be four you can see even here receiver identifier should be four let me see receiver identifier should be four i don't know why it's let me see states receiver identifier you can see from the documentation which is there so it should be a number let me uh, put it as a number and see what it will do it should be four then let's come and reload and see when we reload also i'm still getting receiver invalid receiver identifier so where are i going wrong so you can see from uh, from here the receiver identifier they have stated that this type of shortcode to which the money is credited for for the is credited for this api only four is allowed now let me come and test it here and see when i add four in this here we have said only four let me see maybe this api as per now it has an error on the sandbox let me see so here you can see it's invalid receiver identifier now let's test it on its uh, on its simulator and see so you can see for the simulator it's working now this is another error that mpsa data jpi always makes uh, so you can see for us we have consumed it very perfectly and used everything that is there or let me just replace that and test it to one more time if it refuse it means that there is an error in this code and that's why i'm receiving you can see here i've already added let me let me do this i think this is what i've made this is the difference between their code and ours so let me come and just paste this oh i've known where the error is i think i've gotten the error which is from this initiator initiator name let me copy this initiator name so initiator name so initiate a name let me place it there then see if we will get a successful response such as this one so let me reload it and see then reload still i'm getting uh invalid receiver identifier so it means that uh, there is an error in here let me just do this again and see if because in their documentation here they see this uh, command id they have placed it as with no space but for, uh, for documentation they have documentation here this documentation they have placed it with a space but when you click it here you can see the way it's been consumed that it doesn't have a space i don't know if that is an error they had made also so i've removed my space here now let me test it again and where am i not seeing 
may not see this one uh, this is the command identifier so that's where i'm going wrong so i will place it there because i have used for reverse api so let me come now and test it and see so i think everything is okay now let me test it one more time and see mm -hmm. still i'm getting that so where could i be wrong okay so the error was on my side what i had done i had here what i had done i had used i had used the reversal api url instead of using the tax remitted so this is what you should be using this task limited url then i've set this as number so when i came here and reload it here it it registered successful you can see from that you can see it has changed the date so when i reload it again so that we can confirm you can see the date will change here you can see it has changed so it means that it has worked successful so as a coder you always get uh errors in fact uh, especially when you are interacting with a new thing so you can see me and i've gotten the error then i'll fix it so that's what you need to know about the tax remittance remittance on the uh, Raja api so see you in the next video where i'll explain more on impesa Raja api